quick 49ers lunch minute from here in Indianapolis, where it is 73 degrees on March 1st. Could be a lot worse, like it is in California, 30 degrees colder than it is here. But anyway, offense, defense, special teams, let's talk about all three. The offense update here from Indy at the NFL Combine is that the 49ers aren't planning on retaining Mike McGlinchey. They, you know, he might miss his market. That's what John Lynch said. And in that case, they'll talk, but they, they don't think that he's going to be worth the money that he's going to get. Defense, it doesn't look like the 49ers are going to pay for a defensive tackle. John Lynch said that development is going to be the focus instead. Named Kalia Davis. He obviously talked about Javon Kinlaw as well. That's a more dubious prospect given the knee issues. But I think the 49ers are really, really excited about Kalia Davis. And they're excited that Drake Jackson is going to be staying at the facility this offseason to work with the team's strength coaches to develop some more power. That's what he really needs. So Drake Jackson, for the 49ers, that feels like a hinge point, a key to their defensive line. And finally, special teams for the 49ers. They're going to play hardball with Robbie Gold, who is a pending free agent. They're going to be talking and evaluating a lot of the kicking prospects here at the Combine to at least put some pressure on Robbie Gold and let him know you know, we, we can't pay you over $5 million or whatever Robbie wants. I think the 49ers want to make sure they negotiate the best deal possible. That being said, I think you'd rather have Robbie kicking than uh, a rookie. Robbie's 29 to 29 in his career in the playoffs. Nobody's ever done that. No other kicker has done that in NFL history. And for a playoff ready team, I think you have to have a playoff ready kicker. It would be it'd be risky to roll the dice with a rookie. So I think the 49ers, they're in a tight cap situation, not an impossible cap situation, but they're in a spot where they want to attain the most financial efficiency possible. And if negotiating by leveraging uh, some of the kickers here at the NFL Combine is uh, the modus operandi for the 49ers, then so be it. I am in the Fountain Square neighborhood of Indianapolis. Why don't we take a quick step out to the fountain here? Give you guys a little bit of a look at it. Make sure I don't get hit by traffic. This is the fountain that is in the middle of the square. It's gonna be right behind me. And you see that old school construction here in Indianapolis? I, I like the brick. It's a Midwest city. Nice spot, and it's a hipster neighborhood where I just had a good burger. Kuma's Corner was the name of the burger place, and I made sure to keep the Midwestern flair by ordering their famous burger. They say it's the best in Indianapolis, and Midwestern flair means you gotta put an egg and bacon on it. But I must say that the mac and cheese was much better than the burger. The mac and cheese was awesome. Put some garlic in it, I put some prosciutto in the mac and cheese as well. A lot of different toppings. So Kuma's Corner, you can check it out in Indy. But get the mac and cheese over the burger or get both.